Brazil, 1987. It's a rescue out of a horror movie. Three men stumble on a shocking sight. A dog's caught in a serpent's suffocating grip. And this is no garden snake. It's a deadly anaconda. Without human help, the dog will suffocate or get pulled under and drowned. For the rescuers, time is running out. With each intake of breath, the dog's body squeezed tighter. Giant anacondas can stretch over 30 feet and can easily ambush dog-sized prey, killing by constriction, swallowing their victims whole. Two, then three men jump to the crying dog's aid, while another clamps the anaconda's dangerous jaws. Jaws equipped with over 100 back-curving teeth designed like a vice grip. But the dog isn't the only victim. As they wrestle with the snake, it bites. Off camera, a gut-wrenching scream. If they get the dog out and the snake gets a hold of one of the humans, even a leg, if they can get a hold of a leg, anything that they can wrap around, even the, the, the end, the tail, uh, has got a lot of strength to it. You don't want it to take you, too. Thankfully, an anaconda's bite is painful, but non-venomous. And amazingly, the dog is still breathing. The snake is looped around its victim twice. But the dog's head, forelegs, and much of his chest are free. But if coils reach the dog's chest, it's lethal suffocation. Refusing to quit, the four men tackle the snake in a tug of war. The animal crying makes you want to rescue it that much more. Um, it makes you want to get in there and get the animal freed, rescued, whatever you can. But at the same time, you have to be safe. Three pull the snake apart, while the fourth waits to pull the dog free. At last, they've got it. The dog leaps to safety intact and OK. Unfortunately for the anaconda, it's a common practice to put down snakes that endanger pets and humans. But for man's best friend, it was a remarkable river rescue. <laughs>